Hello, I am Dustel. Welcome back to Digimon Cyber Sleuth. We must go to the K Cafe. Figured it was you. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. What to do? What to do? Oh, Takumi! How long have you been there? Looks like your many years of experience as a detective has made you a master of stealth. No, that can't be right. Hmm. What am I worrying about? Damn it, how could you tell? You're too good at the detective stuff. Well, maybe it's better to ask you about this anyway. Doesn't seem like I'm going to solve this one on my own. That is a big door. Does that seem like an overly sized door? Jesus. Flowers for Sakura. Oh, what should I do? Blah, blah, blah. Your girlfriend will be getting out of the hospital soon. You want to give her a present? Ah, Clark, you'll keep your voice down a bit. Sakura, she's not my girlfriend yet. Huh, not yet? What on earth does that mean? Ah, <laughs> well, if you want to give her a present, just give her whatever you want. I'd like to get something a girl would like. Could you help me choose something? But you know you'll have to pay for this if it's an official case, right? That's okay. I just want to just want her to have the best possible present. Well, I mean, she's not getting out of the hospital, that's all. Or she's just getting out of the hospital, that's all. Don't you think you're taking it a bit this a bit too far? Jeez, give it a rest already. I know you're a detective and all, but stop constantly analyzing every little thing for once. <laughs> it's a personal rule of mine to take on a case of do not take on a case unless I completely understand it. But okay, I suppose I can make an exception, just for now. Just for now? That sounds scary. I need money in order to buy the present, so I'll get a part-time job. I heard about some good hunted spots outside of Eden. But I'll still need your help. Hmm. He's still working in ghost photography? Well, I guess that's fine. We're looking for something a girl would like. Sorry, but I stopped thinking like a girl a long time ago, and you're too worldly. <laughs> so that leaves us with a bit of a problem. In this situation, I'd say you should ask your feminine, feminine friends. Hmm, your feminine friends. Nokia? Perfect. She's probably not really that kind of person, but at least she won't try her best. Or at least she's... That's how she seems to me. Hmm, I think she's in Ju... Sinju Shinjuku right now. The she and Shin really screwed me up. Go and ask for her opinion on girls' presents. Great, I get to travel across Japan just to do this simple quest. Good thing this job pays well. Well, she's not in this section. <coughs> oh, can I ask you the question? Oh, you need something? You're looking for a present, present to get the girl. Capturing the heart of a fair maiden or whatever, hearing that kind of crap just makes you think, Whoa, back up. 100% turn off. J S U Y K. I'm just saying, you know. Okay, I guess that's what that means. Hmm, what's up? So there's some burning question you just really desperately need to ask me. Huh? You're looking for a present for a girl. Do you have any information than that? More information than that? Hmm, a girl's present. So Takumi, why are you asking me about this? Oh my God! You like someone, don't you? But you already have me. Wait, is that why? But since you can't have me all to yourself, you need to find someone else. That's probably it. I guess I'm just too intimidating for most guys, but 
If nobody ever gets close to me because they're afraid, not a good sign. But Takumi and me, we aren't like that. As rebels, we share all share the same goals, the same ideals. We have a special relationship that can overcome any obstacle. So, what's the request again? Ah, it's about the present for a girl. You came to the right place. I happen to be an expert on the matter. What if, when it, when if come, when it comes to the presents for girls, you can't go wrong with accessories. Uh, sex, accessories. Wow. Girls eat, sleep, and breathe accessories. They're a little pricey, but what about a necklace from Vivian's? Let's discuss it back at the office. A necklace, not bad. I think anything over a thousand bucks would hurt a high school student's wallet a bit too much. Yeah, the price is one thing, but honestly, rather than getting her something so girly, I think it would actually be better to give her something romantic, a present that shows that I've put some thought into it. Hmm, a romantic present. I know I said I wouldn't ask too many questions, but I have one for you now. Huh? What are you talking about? You know she's just getting out of the hospital. Why are you so, so concerned with getting her such an amazing present? This is a chance for me, for me to tell Sakura to tell how, tell her how I feel. Tell her how you feel. Hmm, what exactly would that be? Well, I mean, you know that I love her. Love, love. You like this Sakura girl? Well, of course I do. Why else would I want to tell her how I feel? I see. But why don't you like her? Why do you like her? Well, I don't really know. I guess I just can't leave her. I want to be with her. I'm the only one who can protect Sakura. Oh, I'm Ryota. I'm the only one who can protect you, Sakura. I'm the only one who can... <laughs> just mocking him now. Wait, hey, stop that. Stop saying that. Stop it. Enough already, that's it. Now do what I hired you to do. <laughs> he really is such a self-conscious teenage boy. But he's an honest kid. We should definitely keep helping him. Well then. Hmm, a romantic present. I think you need to go looking for a romantic friend of yours and ask their opinion about this. What do you think? So, a romantic friend. Yuko? Well, I think she is more passionate than one type would expect, but she's not the romantic type. And Arta. Exactly. You wouldn't think so, but I'd say he's quite the romantic. I think he's an Akihabara. Go and ask him about a romantic present. Hey, romantic present. I see, romantic present. Oh yes, why not an invitation to an all-you-can-eat cake buffet at a nice hotel? Being able to eat you your fill of sweets is every woman's dream. That would work for Yuko, but not uh, Sakura. Hey, what do you got? I can use some sprite recoveries. And I'll go with these two. What are you doing here? Ha! Right after trying up, tying up those disappearances, we'd have some creeper stalker too. He was squawking about being tricked by a flower lady, but scumbags like that are, they're threats to women, to everyone. I locked him up, no questions asked. Well, we know what happened to that kid. Yo. Huh? I'm looking for a romantic present for a girl. Romantic? That's kind of old-fashioned, don't you think? Anyway, why are you specifically asking me this? Huh? I'm a romantic. What are you talking about? What? You're here at Kyoko's behest. I can't think why she would say such a thing. Hmm. Romantic, you say. That's it. How about something like poison and a dagger? What's with the face? It would be such a romantic present. You know, like Romeo and Juliet? You heard of them, right? I know about them, but... 
It's one of Shakespeare's tragedies. It's all about forbidden love, Romeo. It's about the forbidden love of Romeo and Juliet. Romeo thinks that Juliet has died, so he drinks poison and kills himself. But Juliet is actually alive, and when she sees that Romeo is dead, she takes a dagger and sticks it in her own heart. So what do you think? Romantic, right? You know, just two stupid teenagers. Didn't they come up with that plan together and everything? <laughs> it's been a while since I actually read that. Well, I don't know. There's just something touching about such a profound and dramatic gesture. It's a romantic present, and that's it. But <laughs> it's a joke, just a joke. You're the one who labeled me a weirdo, and I was just getting back at you. Hmm, a romantic present. How about I take it to a theme park? Have you never heard that memories are better than possessions? Ride the ride, see the parades, kiss underneath a starry sky. Girls like that kind of stuff, right? Some. I'll discuss it back at the office. Wow, going to a theme park, kissing under a starry sky. Just as I thought, he's quite the romantic. What do you think? Should they enjoy a date at the theme park? Hmm, a date, a date. I feel like going on a date should be the next step. First, I'd like to get her a present that really grabs her. Hmm, you sure do have a lot of conditions. Actually, I've been thinking. I'd rather the present wasn't too unusual. Something simple, but elegant. Hmm, I actually have a good point there. But simple, but simple, but elegant is a bit ambiguous. Okay, then I've got to go to my job. Please go on. I'll speak with you later. It's the third time he's done that. Guess I should be used to it by now, but I don't get why he keeps leaving us to do all the work. So, something simple but elegant. She's not simple, but there's only one friend of yours who, who I can think of who could give you that kind of advice. So, Yuko? Yeah, it looks like she's at Kamashiro right now. Please go and ask her about something simple but elegant. She should be able to tell you something useful anyway. While our relationship may fall within the bounds of friendship, to touch me so brazenly is... Oh, you got something to ask? Simple is good. Huh? You're looking for something simple and delicious, or... Oh, sorry, simple and elegant. My bad. Um, what do you mean exactly? Please explain it in a bit more detail. Of course you're looking for something a girl would like. I get it now. But... I don't think that's the best plan. For starters, it's a present for someone for someone that's been picked out by someone who doesn't know them. The gift giver needs to think about what the recipient might like. What might make her happy. Think seriously, consider it, ponder it, mull it over, and then choose the best possible present. That's what giving a present is all about. It's not what you get, it's the time and energy spent thinking about what might take what might make the other person happy. That's the present's true value. Please, please tell this client who can't decide on the present to think as carefully as he can about the person he wants to give the gift to. Huh? Me? Who would make me happy? Hmm, that's a good question. Onigiri. Onigiri. Yeah, oni, Onigiri. Yeah, that's a Mary. I think I wanted to move the R earlier into it. That's what I'd want. Onigiri. Made with love, a nice big onigiri. What? Onigiri no good? Not for them, but... As you said, it's for you. She said that the time spent thinking about the best possible present was a true gift? Hmm, she has a point there. Wow, of course, that's it. That's exactly what I should do. I'll think about it, seriously, on my own. I'll think about what would make Sakura happiest. Okay, thanks, Takumi and to Koyoko. Woohoo! Does he really need to go off running and shouting like that? And where the hell is he going anyway? Youth is wasted on the young. Easy money though. A 
I'm curious to see how this building, budding romance turns out in the end. I wish him the best of luck out there in courting her. Chapter 10 To the Promised Land Hackers of Zaxxon, of Kowloon, no, of all Eden, I ask you this. Are you free? Free from involvement, interference, monitoring? Do such freedoms exist in Eden today? And what about Eden's prototype, the birthplace of us hackers, our holy land, under zero? It's a space idealized by the creator of this digital world, much freer, offering a better life. But Under Zero was seized when Eden was launched and turned into an unmanned server to control information. Now it's nothing more than a fortress outfitted with the toughest security in the world. Under Zero, our big ideal home is now on the oldest of Eden's servers, the Valhalla server. We hackers are going to take back our utopia. To bring a new order to Eden, to release it from a freedom filled with muttering and interference. We Zaxons hereby declare the reclamation of our holy land, under zero. If there are any who share in our aspirations, then join us for under zero! Now that was certainly something. That was quite the impassioned speech. I reckon you'll make a fine boss one day. If it'll save Eden, I'll put on whatever performance I have here, no matter how foolish. Even after I resort to tall tales and legends. If I can get, if I can just get to under zero, I can redo all of this. I can recreate Eden, Eden as its creator originally envisioned. I reckon your wish will come true. Now I'll be with you every step of the way. Inspired by Yugo's speech, the hackers began to make their way to Under Zero, their holy land. Let's rewind things a bit. Oh, it's me, it's me! You're not busy? No, I didn't think you'd be. We're all getting together at the Eden Free area. What to bring? Oh yeah, your nerve and your friendship for Digimon. Okay, see you there, and if you're late, Akino Hell Smash will see you in the hospital. <laughs> I'm off to the Eden Free area. You heard me, didn't you? Get to Eden. Something's causing trouble, so be careful. Oops, well. Took him onto the farm at max level. Is Eden Free area good? Let's meet there right now. I'll be waiting. Guess what? Sakura's out of the hospital. She came to school today. Ryoto, with friends like you, I'm not really all. Is that right? Good to hear. I'm a bit relieved. I'm back at school after my break. Ryota said you saved me. Thank you. Don't push yourself. You're still on the mend. Anyway, uh, no, they're good. Let's go. Should be ending this part, but eh. Let's at least start this storyline a bit. Programming now. Jeez, you're always so late. What is it? Something or other? Working on boss man time? There they are, Nokia. Maybe go easy this time. You've got a point. After all, Takumi is important aid to the rebels. Guess maybe I could let things slide. Alright, everybody. Everyone, here's my helper for today's training. The unstoppable cyber sleuth, the new super hacker Takumi. The golden maniac. Takumi the Golden Maniac? The one who took down the strange hacker group, the Demon? Takumi the Golden Maniac? The gifted hacker that successfully managed to infiltrate Kamashiro? That's right, that Takumi the Golden Maniac. My total bestie, finest, fiercest confidence. What do you think? Who better to help train the rebels? Alright, go on then, Takumi the Golden Maniac. 
Okay, I'll go first. Here we go. Um. <laughs> Eleven levels, good. Or oh, ten levels, I think. Hehe, <laughs> way to go, GM. But we're just warming up. Okay, I guess I'm next. Oh, I wanted to fight a second person. Nokia? Yeah. It seems that, like, Takumi's been kind of lost in all this. Are you sure you explained everything properly? Um, well, I chose the nickname Golden Maniac from the way Takumi was. And then GM was just an obvious, cool abbreviation of that. Not that, I'm talking about the training. What? I explained it, didn't I, Takumi? What? It didn't explain? Oh crap! You should have said something! You're too quiet for your own good, Takumi. What we wanted, Takumi, was for you to train them for battle students. So they'd be stronger against those nasty, nasty hackers. That's not all. The point of the training is not just strength. It also deepens our bond... It's also to deepen our bonds with our Digimon. Sort of like hot springs, ping pong matches, and all night karaoke. If we can pull through those kinds of events, we should be able to achieve true power beyond brute strength. And with that power, we can help the Digimon being misused by hackers in order to make Eden a home for us all. We rebels hereby declare a decision to begin the We Love Digimon Initiative. And you'll join us to train us for this transcendental dream. Right, Takumi? I don't think I have much choice in the matter. Finally! Such an impassioned speech. Aikido's bursting with power and devotion. It's funny. It's fun getting tossed about by the, the tsunami of her power. This is what true charisma is. Oh, it's Yugo! <laughs> so, this is your dream? And these hackers, they're your team? What are you here for? Has the leader of the Zaxxons come to crush the rebels? If you are a threat to the Zaxxons, then that might be an option for me to consider. But from the look of things, there doesn't appear to be any need of that. What do you mean by that? Are you saying we're still noobs? You think you can just look down look just look down your nose at us? You want to test our power then? What? Well sure, we were beaten silly last time by that girl Faye. But do we just take that lying down? But Nokia, Yugo isn't a bad hacker, is he? I sort of get the impression that he's not. Your Digimon sure do talk a lot. Yugo, you're a hacker group leader. Hackers will listen to you. Tell them. Tell them Digimon are not just programs. There's something else I need to tell the hacker. Your speech was inspiring, though. What? Nokia, if all possible, I would rather not fight you. Just don't interfere with me. With Zaxxon. Hey, hang on a sec. Yugo, are you planning something? Yo, hang on, I said. We hackers are going to take back our utopia. The Zaxxons are going to declare the reclamation of our holy land under zero. If any of you share in our aspirations, then join us for under zero. Oh my, things are coming along nicely. Oh man, talking for like two hours really destroys your throat, <laughs> your voice. You've pushed them all to the edge very well. Now it's down to her to do her part. I'll drop the security level a little to increase the sense of accomplishment. They should easily reach their goal now. Excellent, Akimi. You are a master strategist. But I'm glad. I was worried that I'd pushed her too far and she might have snapped. <laughs> <laughs> to stim stimulate the passion of the youngsters such as these. We have such excellent motivational tools. 
pressure from authorities, family ties, and despair itself. <clears throat> Youngsters are wonderful. The frustration, dreams, and hope they get from a gloom-filled society. And the more pressure of despair you add, the more you sublimate, sublimate it into a vibrant passion. So very bright, it dazzles my eyes. <laughs> How would I look? Did I get the villain thing right just now? Well, oh, that's why I love about you, Akimi. And now we just sit back and wait for them to get completely violent with each other. All, I, all as I have planned, of course. So you're, <laughs> so you were trading with them all night long. You're too much of an easy mark. Excuse me, TV. There you go. <laughs> no, actually, the Algato's fucking up. You'll never have enough time with Nokia. She'll use you up and spit you out. No, thank you. Hey, you're here. You're here. The picture didn't go up, but the sound definitely cut out. When I looked at it, I'm not. I've got home over there. I do need to clear some memory off my hard drive too. Oh, and we have our art as a bonus. What do you mean at a bonus? Haven't you heard? The Zaxons are on board with the Under Zero invasion. <sighs> Fucking Elgato. Yeah, it seems that all the hackers can talk about. No. Did you know Arto that Under Zero is a hacker holy land? You probably don't care though. What a holy land, don't be a zern. Too far in to just drop it, I gotta let it go. Stupid goddamn technology. What a holy land, don't be a zern. It's just an old out modded area on some old out modded server. But you, should, but you should see the look in their eyes when they talk about taking it back. Actually, there are some among the rebels who have taken special training and want to show off their planning to join in. Well, the leader being who she is, no wonder they sim the simple-minded are coming together. HOW! <laughs> what do you say, Takumi? Do you want to go take on Under Zero 2? It'd be, just, be like climbing a mountain, because it's there. Or crashing through a wall, because it's there. And this could be... Why does the Elgato have to do this to me? I don't know what this is going to be like in editing. This is going to be a bitch. And this could be a chance to raise our public awareness level. Well, with my having formed the Tamer group and all. If the Rebels manage to beat Zaxxon and breaking into Under Zero, we'll rocket to superstardom. <laughs> and then we could promote our... God fucking damn it. Quit while you're ahead. That's not a place newbies like you are going to be able to reach. You'll be beaten at your own game. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, who are you calling a newbie? We've piled on the special training to become extra strong, right, Takumi? Fine, I'll go by myself, and I'll definitely get in before the Zaxxons do. Leave her be. If she gets herself hurt running off half-cocked, it's her own fault. Oh, dang it. Forget it. We're going after her. Under Zero is way too dangerous. If things get go the way they did last time... Anyway, we have to go after Nokia. I've got a little prep work to do first. Let's meet in Eden. There's definitely a good place to stop because the Elgato is being a fucking shit. Ah, the railroad. My bad, I sent that message for a date. Alright, I understand. Hey, you went to the K Cafe, didn't you bring me some mail? Oh, well, alright. It's finally time to show hackers what rebels are with. Don't push yourself. That's yeah, true too. Ryoto wants to hang out. How about an amusement park? Sakura was saved thanks to you. It's strange for me to say that, but thanks again. My Digimon healed up. No. Let's push our luck. I have no clue how this is going to turn out. 
in terms of editing. Just the picture and sound wouldn't have, like the picture froze and sound cut out and my screen went black on the TV. But the Algato is still recording, but ah, it's so fucking infuriating. That's not what I wanted. Fucking technology. Alright, while I'm editing this here, and I'm gonna get incredibly annoyed when I have to edit this in the future. It's a good place to stop this recording session, because I would rather have energy for what's coming up ahead. <sighs> Fuck you, Elgato. Thanks for watching. Check back later for the next video. Bye.